Hey guys, you join me the day before we leave for Spain. There's an Avis van. I did not do that. It came like that. Here's our gear to strap the bikes down. There's size Prillia. Tuono V4. Mine's in the garage. And as last year, there's Wags top man. <laughs> Strapping his monster down. So in our van, we've got obviously our three bikes. The other guys are in VW. Pretty solid. Solid as a rock. So the guys are in VW transporters. They've only got two, two guys, two, van, uh, two vans. The other guys have got two bikes in their little vans. Hoping they can fit in. They were quite tight when we looked at them at the higher place. So we have to get three bikes in here. Right, monsters in. Comes the Toyota. This is going to fit, it's going to be very tight between my pipes and Waggy's uh, sprocket. We don't know. Right, better give Waggy's a hand and get this, uh, and get this in. Got to own a win with probably, I'd say, oh, not even an inch to spare. We've not strapped it down yet, but we have not. We've got a bit of room there, but we're pretty close to the other bikes. We've got a room, got a room for luggage as well. So luggage will go here and down there, so that's not too bad. So I could just I to move mine right forward. And the mirrors are saying hello to each other. From the other way. So yeah, now it's got a strap size bike down. Oh, these super coarse tyres, they'll be they'll be bald by the time he gets back. You know, baldy tyres up my baldy head. Right, I've used these R and G handlebar straps for the Aprilia, and they're brilliant because they pull on each other, so they link under there. We've got all this webbing on the tank down here. Stop it rubbing on size, lovely. Shiny, a prettier, sparkly paintwork. Get out of the way, you tosser. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, shit, he fell out of the back of the van. Yeah. We're using these cable ties just to double lock them down. If they did bounce out, they're not going to go anywhere. What we'll do when we get there, we'll leave all the cable, the top, the straps exactly where they are. Yeah, no idea, so we know what goes in where. Swag yeah. man. Side. Gaz and Matt's van. All right, let's go have a cup of tea. What are you eating, Mr. Moore? I'm eating avocado, sausage, beans, um, bacon, and mushroomos. Oh, that's mm. good. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's from Leon. Oh, yeah, as we're doing, playing. I guess it's got a new toy. Um, Nintendo Switch. He's addicted to Mario Kart. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Coffee. It's waiting for Greg and Mr. H. We're boarding the train in 10 minutes. First night we've arrived. Looks lovely. Just 
queuing up. Boys to check in. Currently stuck behind a group of ponies that, that are blocking both lanes of the road and we can't get by. Hey, so we made it. Hey. Bikes as solid as a rock. Yes. Solid. Oh man, look at the weather. Spot on. 24 degrees, gorgeous. Lovely hotel. Man's lined up. Right, we're gonna check in. Add gear and get the bikes out the back. Oh, my luggage in, in a minute. Hey, we made it. Here's my room. I'm in here on my own this time. It's nice to not share with anybody. Oh, it's lovely. I like this side of the hotel because the view is always stunning. So yeah, huge bed. Super king or queen, whatever it is. Massive. That's a storage space. As ever. Lovely shower, should say lovely shower, sinks, I don't know, and a B day if that takes your fancy. So guys, yeah, we made it. A thousand miles we're here. Weather's lovely, so I need to get unpacked and get the bikes out of the vans. Cool. Hey, some of the bikes on the curb, so the ramp's not steep, it's good. The boys are over here and they're transporters. Does anyone need a hand? Put yours in first and then, yeah, just mine in. So if we're looking at mine, it's a mine. It's tight in the old transporters, but we all made it all right. Bikes all right. Solid. Really? This is a Greg machine. And that's the left hand. Which is fun. and the Super Cook. Oh, Gaz, you're in there. Didn't you realise? Gaz is at the back, tucked away. You're right. Good, Gaz. Do you need a hand getting them out? No. Mate, we, come more, Matt. we no. use cable ties. Uh, I'll give you some cable ties instead of them. They worked well. Right, let's see what these boys are doing over here. Loads of snow over there. It's very warm. Band was brilliant. So before that wasn't me. Use gorilla tape, didn't fall off the whole way here. Oh, dude. What was that? <laughs> Daz and Johnny, two O's out. Let's get the CB out. The other boys are all in the spa. I mean, a naked sauna together or something, yeah.
Hey, it's the first morning. Gaz is doing a weird dance. Not sure what he's actually doing. He's excited. Oh, you idiot! That'll bang around. Oh, uh, that'll smash on your fairing. He's got a cable thing stuck on his bike. Just noticed it. Right. We're heading down the, to the area we know that is good. This is Sai, the Prelia Tuono Factory B4. Looking good, Sai. Looking good. There's me monster. There's Gaz Super Duke. Matt, Hypermotile SP. Dazza, CB1000. There's JT, the main man on his Tuono V4. Matt has brand new Super Corsa tyres, looking very new. How you done it? Ah, uh, yeah, good. So, we're heading to an area we know quite well, because, well, we know the roads, it just it makes more sense. I haven't even got sat nav on my bike, nor is Gary. He's like, coming back home, to our second home here. Weather today looks okay, for now. Yeah, we're here, we're in Spain. Mr Hayes is on his fire blade. He meant to bring his BMW, but it wasn't, uh, it was poorly. But I'm kind of excited that he's on the blade. Anyway, let's go and get a little bit of fuel. Then we can get some filming in. Right, we just got fuel. Matt's trying to uh, scrub his tyres in a bit, I think, already. Here comes the other guys. This petrol station didn't have uh, high-grade fuel, so we're probably going to go to a different one next time. Car park slippery, the surface. Right. Scott. Mr. Hayes on the fire blade. We've got Johnny. That's not Johnny. That's Simon on the Tuono. Some of the boys are back there. Uh, some of the guys are going ahead. It's hard with nine people to sort of stay together and not do go the wrong way and stuff like that. There's a Guarda Seville police car that went just in front of us who could be sitting anywhere along this road waiting for us. I don't think he saw us pull up behind him. I don't know. Hey, it's Johnny on his Tuono. Ah, there's Greggy on his R1200R. Whoa, there's Daz on the CB1000. When we stop, I'll show you their bikes a bit more and stuff. It's just hard with nine of us. If I staff at the front, then normally I can get them to come by me. But I'm letting them get caught by the police. If he's up there, I'm not going to get caught. You've got to keep your eyes out for stuff like that. <coughs> it was in the four-wheel drive. They're normally looking for people crossing the border in the hills and stuff like that. So, never had a problem with the police before. Last time we got stopped at a roadblock is because they were just checking ID. Not, not for anything we were doing on the bikes. Guys, yeah, awesome to be here again. This video will be exactly the same, perhaps, as last time. Who's that? Ah, oh, it's Mr Moore. He's got new tyres. He's got uh, brand new tyres like Mr H has. So they've got to be a little bit careful. I don't know where Gaz was. I thought he was in front of us. There's Gaz on the Super Duke. It's all right, yeah, as I say. So we got here last night in the vans. We had no issues at all. The bikes didn't move an inch in the vans. They were superb. The transporters were quite small for two bikes. They fitted them in, but they were a bit tight. They were a bump. Whoa, that was a proper bump. But we were fine, everything's good. We got to the hotel, unpacked the bikes, went out for dinner, bed about midnight, up at 7.30 breakfast, and out by nine. If you're not in the car park by nine, we will go without you. They all know that. <coughs> Excuse me. They, uh, 
they do get up, they never let us down, but they do drink quite a bit of wine at night and wake up with a little bit of a headache. But as any of you guys know who ride bikes, I guess if you watch this channel, you ride a bike, you need to be totally on point. Getting a bike with a hangover is not the best idea. You can do it, as long as you're not over the limit, it can be done, but it's not great. Weather, this is the best day supposedly we're gonna get. Tomorrow, if the daytime's all right, it's rain at night uh, and in the mornings a little bit, but we've just got to play it by ear. You can probably see over there, the snow on the mountains. I'm not sure how high we can go this time because there's a lot of snow that can be melted onto the roads, I don't know, so we'll be a little bit careful. sounds good. I've got it in touring mode to start with just to get used to it and some of these roads and that. The front response isn't quite as severe. I'll put it in sport mode later. But the baffles are out. Uh, I'll put them back in when I get home because it is probably a little bit loud. You can never pick up the sound on these cameras how loud it is. Uh, really loud. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention Everybody's got some kind of airbag jacket on, apart from JT. So you'll see some of the, uh, not Hellite, I forgot what they're called. I think they've got various different versions of uh, airbag vests. Two of them are fluorescent, that's Mr. H and Greg's. The other two guys, I think, have got the same vest, but in black. And then the other four of us have got D-Air, like these D-Air full airbag jackets definitely a bit cloudy up there. I don't think we'll be going up to the ski resort today. I think we'll probably pass on that. <laughs> it's a bit snowy up there. Oh well, we'll get up as high as we can today, head that side, and we can always head, if it's raining, we can head south to Zaragoza, to the flat areas where there's the gorges, with the river and that, which you've probably seen in one of my other videos. So, perhaps before you watch any more of this video, check out last year's trip to see who was there. There was two less guys than there are on this trip. And the only bikes that are the same on this trip are Super Ducar, CB1000 and the Hypermotard SP. All the other bikes are uh, different. save a battery because this is flipping boring and I bought the drone with me so hopefully we can get some drone uh, footage but the weather is not going to be on our side I don't think just be nice to have a bit of sunshine never mind probably going to be having to put up with a little bit of rain now and again never mind anyway see in Spain this is what you come across cows in the road like that and there's no farmer here, and it's like, they're just roaming around. Putting shite all over the road like that. They're crapped everywhere. That's not good. That's why the guy in the car was waving us down a minute ago. Now I understand why. Yeah, that's good that he did that, so. But there's a lot of shite on the road. Sadly, our favourite road that we love, there's cows all the way along it, shiting everywhere. So we're not going to go back up there again. It's not good. Go around a the corner, there's about 15 cows in the middle of the road. Gutted. Oh well. We won't go that way for a while. <laughs> right, our favourite road that we always do a couple of times, as I said, you saw it's full of cows that have escaped. They keep giving us the evil eye and they've got horns, so we didn't like them and they've, they've, they've just shat everywhere. So, we're going 
going to go to the other area that we were going to go to this afternoon and head there now. So yeah, that is the downfall of this this sort of area is cows and sheep. But normally I've, ne I've never seen a herd of cows, not with a farmer, because obviously they just escaped. There's more crap here, but that was probably from sheep being removed from their pens. So. bit of road now for a little while and then we'll be on the nice bit. Ah, oh, we just came across a, a horde of teenage or young cyclists on their bikes <laughs> for about five miles. Just every corner was like little kids on bikes wobbling all over the road. So to be so careful, so we've come across so far a herd of cows and a herd of cyclists. Normally we have no one up here, it's just us, and it's midweek, it's Friday, well, it's end of the week, it's Friday, so we just have to really take it easy. I'm behind uh, Gaz and the Super Duke. See, now we get to Aragon, the, the road changes surface, it's completely mad. Because you're in a different area, they have more money to spend on tarmac, I guess, tarmac in the road, so, <laughs> yeah, look at that view. Lovely. Yeah, it was only rough bit up there, but now this is nice. It's pine cones around here, but nothing that bad. Some sharp corners. To the blue barrier which is at the top of that mountain there and hopefully it's not too cloudy that's what we're hoping We've got Greg behind on his R1200R as I said there's Mr Hayes Mr. Hayes and Matt in front and Gaz just in front of me. This road gets good. No, that's filming you. It's brilliant. Oh no, look. Kicked it. Hey, it's the boys. Love it. 
Oh, I'm getting, trying to hang off the bike a bit and really get in those bends, but not go on the other side of the road. Do you can drone it? Yeah. yeah. I've got gas behind me. I'm going to go and set the drone up. Track mode is a bit more exciting. Can do. 